rather simple now and you must be able to do these kind of problems. Okay, let's uh, look at another problem. A box of mass 3.5 kilogram rests on a frictionless shelf. This is the box of mass 3.5 kilogram resting on a frictionless shelf and is attached by strings to masses M1 equal to 1.5 kilogram and M2 equal to 2.5 kilogram which hang freely as is shown here. And we ignore friction because we haven't started talking about friction yet. That will be done in the next class. Find the acceleration of each boxes and the tension in each string. Now here, there are two pieces of string. A string that connects the, the top mass with the left mass, that is this. There is a tension T1 on that string and the second string connects the 3 kilogram mass to the 2.5 kilogram mass and the tension on that string is T2. That means there are going to be three variables here and three equations. Okay. The net force on M1. Let's talk about M1, this mass. What is the net force on this M1? The weight M1G is acting down the plane. The tension T1 is acting up. And we would assume that the system moves from left to right. That means the net force on M1 is T1 minus M1G. Now, what is M1? M1 is 1.5 kilogram, and therefore its weight, M1G, is 1.5 times 9.8, that is 14.7. So, T1 minus 14.7 is the net force on M1. What is the net force on M2? The weight of M2 will be M2G, which is 2.5 kilogram times 9.8, that is 24.5 Newton. That is the weight pulling it down, and the tension T2 is pulling it up. So what is the net force on M2? The net force on M2 will be 24.5 Newton minus T2. Well, before we do that, let's write down the equation for M1. The net force on M1, T1 minus 14.7 equal to M1A. So T1 minus 14.7 equal to 1.5a. That is the equation for the mass m1. Now remember, the easiest way to solve problems like this, as I told you, is isolate each object and find the net force on each of them. Alright, similarly for mass m2, can you write an equation like this straight away? You can look at this and write it straight away. You say 24.5 minus T2 equal to M2A, 2.5A. There you are. 24.5 minus T2 equal to 2.5A. I don't think it needs a lot of explanation. How about the mass M3? Can you write an equation for that? What is the net force on M3? The tension T2 is pulling it to the right. The tension T1 is pulling it to the left. And since the system is moving to the right that way, we say the net force is T2 minus T1. So T2 minus T1, the net force equal to MA, 3.5A. 
So T2 minus T1 equal to 3.5a. We have three equations and you can solve for these three equations. And in order to solve these, you need to rearrange them. Now look at the way I'm going to rearrange them. T1 plus 0 T2. Remember we have three variables and each equation must contain all the three variables if you want to use your calculator to do that. So, I want you to use, uh, I want you to solve these equations on the calculator. So, our first equation is T1 plus 0 T2 minus 1.5 A equal to 14.7. In other words, we write the variables all on one side and the number to the right side. I hope you understand that equation. T1 plus 0 T2 minus 1.5 A equal to 14.7. Alright, how will you write this equation? There is no T1 there, so there will be a 0 T1 all right, minus T2 minus 2.5 A equal to negative 25, 24.5 or you can write it like this 0 T1 plus T2 plus 2.5 A equal to 24.5 that's how I have written it here what I did is left the 24.5 on the left take the negative T2 to the right so I have 0 T1 plus T2 plus 2.5 A equal to 24.5. Now, look at the way I wrote the equation. All T1s must be the first variable. All T2s the second variable. The A is the third variable. All the constant numbers on the right. Alright, how will we write this one? Now, look at the way I wrote this one. Now, what I did is, I took both these variables to the right. So, a negative T1 comes to the right, becomes positive T1. T2 comes to the right, becomes negative T2. And 3.5a is sitting there, plus 3.5a, and the left side is 0. So, this equation is T1 minus T2 plus 3.5a equal to 0. Alright, how would, how would you solve these three equations on your calculator? Well, make a matrix which is a 3 by 3 matrix. Make a 3 by 3 matrix and enter the coefficients. What is that? 1, 0, negative 1.5, that's the first row. 0, 1, 2.5. That is the second row. 1, negative 1, 3.5. That is the third row. So you got your matrix A with those numbers. And your matrix B will be a 3 by 3 matrix. Alright? And make your matrix B and calculate A inverse multiplied by B. I'm going to show this one more time to you how to make these matrices. Go to matrix second x inverse, well turn on the calculator first. Well go to matrix second x inverse is your matrix. Go to edit, well edit matrix A, there you are and that has to be a 3 by 3 matrix so what do you do type in 3 enter 3 enter and now type in all those values what are the coefficients on the left side now look at your equation that will be 1 enter 0 enter negative 1.5 enter the second equation the coefficients are 0 enter 
one enter, two point five enter. The third equation is one enter, negative one enter, three point five enter. You have your matrix A now. Let's go and make our matrix B. Matrix B, let's go second x inverse and go to edit two places to the right and one down matrix B. Matrix B is going to be a three by one matrix. Three enter one enter and write down the values on the right side. What are they? 14.7 enter, 24.5 enter, 0 enter. So you got 14.7. I think I have a. The second one is 24.5. And the third is zero. And once you have those values entered, quit the screen and go and collect your matrix A. How? Second matrix, collect A. Simply enter and take the inverse of it. A inverse multiplied by matrix B, second matrix and select B, come down and you have A inverse B gives you the first variable is T1, the second variable is T2 and the third variable is the acceleration. So T1 equal to 16.6 T2 is 21.23 and the acceleration A is 1.31. Alright, I think now we will now talk about the weight of a person moving.